Alrighty. We're going to proceed in our study of the word of the Lord this morning. Vamos a proseguir en nuestro estudio de la palabra del Señor en esta mañana. Okay, once we get the slides up. Thank you. Gloria a Dios. The Apostle Peter makes a declaration in a verse that we're going to be showing you in a moment. El apóstol Pedro hace una declaración en un versículo en el cual vamos a estar mostrando en unos momentos. It's found in this verse here. Y se encuentra en este versículo aquí. If you read it carefully, it says, For we did not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. En español. Porque no hemos seguido a fábulas o artificiosas cuando os dimos a conocer el poder y la venida de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. I found in my years serving the Lord he encontrado en mis años sirviendo al Señor that the, the Bible you read has to be understandable que la Biblia que usted lee tiene que estar, eh, ser entendida if you're going to get the benefits you should si vamos a darle los beneficios que merece as we know the word was given to us como sabemos la palabra fue dada a nosotros to lead us to salvation para guiarnos a salvación and as we shared this morning y como compartimos en esta mañana to help us grow para ayudarnos a crecer by instructing us instruyéndonos rebuking us reprendiéndonos correcting us corrigiéndonos and raising us y eh, criándonos and all these things can only really happen y todas estas cosas verdaderamente pueden acontecer if the Bible you're reading is understandable to the maximum si la Biblia que usted está leyendo se entiende al máximo so if you look at the, that, that verse we just finished reading así que si lee ese versículo que acabamos de leer if I may for a second in English It says cunningly devised fables. In español dice fábulas artificiosas. Artificiosas. I know in Spanish we don't use that word. Sé que en español no usamos esa palabra artificiosas. I never heard that used in Spanish in my artificiosas. You know? Nunca había escuchado esta palabra anteriormente. Your Bible may say something else. Tal vez su Biblia diga otra cosa diferente. When it comes to cunningly devised, it might say. Does your Bible say something else in Second Peter? Dice su Biblia otra cosa que no sea esta palabra artificiosa. For we did not follow what? Porque no seguimos. What does your Bible say out there? Anybody got a different version out there? That's, not, that's an NIV, I believe. What does yours say? Ah, what was that again? We went out what? M making up clever stories. That's, that's, that's very clear in English. Eso está bien claro en inglés. En español, alguien tiene otro, otra versión que, que, no, que no diga artificiosas. Lo que habla español, creo que todas dicen lo mismo, ¿verdad? Artificiosas. So, it's not going to help us if we don't know what, that word, what these words mean. Esto no nos va a ayudar si no sabemos qué significa la palabra. And what it's referring to. Y a qué se está refiriendo. If you notice, in English and in Spanish, the word that I underlined. Tanto en inglés como en español, en las palabras que yo subrayé. Is the same. Es la misma. It's the word fables. Es la misma palabra, fábulas. And this word fables is a translation of this word in the Greek. Y esta palabra, fábulas, se traduce de esta manera en griego. All right, so Peter's saying we did not follow. Así que Pedro está diciendo no seguimos. Cunningly devised this. Fábulas artificiosas. Yeah, lo que sea esto, esto. Mm -hmm. es artificiosas. Now the word fable, muthos. Does that sound like a word you know in English or Spanish? Ahora esta palabra mutos quiere decir algo tanto que usted sepa esta palabra tanto en inglés como en español. This is where we get the word myth, mito en español, mito. Se llama mito. No mita, se llama mita, mito. Mito, no mita. That's an inside Spanish joke, okay? It's uh, <laughs> Peter says we don't follow myths. Pedro dice que no seguimos mitos. Now what is a myth? Ahora qué es un mito? Yes, Rosie. Exactly. It's a story that really isn't true. Es una historia que no es verídica. It may have lessons behind them. Tal vez lleva lecciones en ellas. But the story itself never happened. Pero la historia en sí nunca aconteció. Let's look into your history here. Vamos a nuestra historia. What myths did you learn about when you were in school? ¿Qué mitos aprendieron Greek ustedes mythology, cuando estaban en right? Uh, Especially, it says it right there, mythology, right? Mitología, y es la mitología es griega. Mismo. Hercules, Zeus, Athena, all these stories of the three-headed beasts and Cerberus, and I mean, all on and on. Those are stories we know are not real. 
Todas estas son historias que nosotros aprendimos. En griego habla de, de Zeus, de Medusa, de, de los héroes que, que, como Hércules. Y esas son cosas que sabemos que no eran real. Es, son mitos. They're, we know they're not true. Y yes. sabemos que no son ciertas. Yeah. Aesop's fables también. El fábulas de Aesop. También fables. That's the key word. We know that they didn't happen. Y sabemos okay. que esto no aconteció. In, in American and even, in, well, in our culture, the three little pigs. En nuestra duh. cultura, los tres cerditos. We know it didn't happen. I mean, sabemos geez. que eso no pasó. Of course, I hope not. Otherwise, es pigs can no. talk. I mean, you know, and build houses. So we know casos. those things really didn't happen. Eh, ninguna de estas cosas pasaron. Yeah. Oh, ese, ese es el más recién que hay. Yeah, another thing. <laughs> sí. When, when I was growing up, era, era el cuco. El cuco, oh, remember? You know, these are things that are meant to either teach us Estas son cosas o, o que nos enseñan, <laughs> or scare us. Yeah. O nos asustan. But nobody in their right mind is going to think that really these things really exist. Pero nadie en su mente sana va a pensar de que estas cosas existieron. The Little Red Riding Hood story. How do you say that in Spanish? La historia de la de Little Red de Riding Hood. Capucita Roja. Capucita Roja. I like Spanish. It's so cute. Capucita, you know? A capelucita? No, no, capelucita. Okay, forget Spanish. I'll stay with the English. Little Red Riding Hood. A capelucita. No, capelucita. Capelucita. Yeah, capelucita roja. The girl with the red hood. Uh -huh. All right, great. <laughs> We know it never happened. Sabemos que nunca aconteció. So these are myths. Así que estos son mitos. Estos son fábulas. But Peter's saying Pero Pedro dice that what we are talking about que de lo que estamos hablando is not that. no es eso. The word muthos means this. La palabra muthos significa esto. And you see that all the stories we just mentioned y esto acabamos de verlo en todas las historias que mencionamos are this, made up, make believe. son estos son uh, cuentos inventados. It's not, it's not real. They just meant to teach us lessons or stories no of some sort. No son que han acontecido en realidad sino que llevan el propósito de enseñarnos and, algo. And that's okay for kids. Y eso está bien para niños. Everybody has to have a child here. Todos tienen que tener una infancia. So enjoy it, yeah? Así que disfrútela. But there comes a day when you realize there really isn't a Santa Claus. Wow. Pero hay un día en que se da cuenta de que ya no es tan sano esta, esta, esta historia. How did you feel when you found that there was no Santa Claus? ¿Cuántos se dan cuenta de que cuando averiguan right? que no había un Santa Claus? Algo Some people were devastated. Oh, algunos yeah, están yeah. decepcionados. That day you realized what you believed was true was a myth. Ese día se da cuenta que lo que usted creyó que era cierto era un mito. And then you allow, because you were growing up, y luego porque usted estaba creciendo you allowed for the fact that you were told some stories which really weren't true when you were a child se da cuenta It's que okay. se le dijo historias que no eran verídicas cuando era un niño you know how about the tooth fairy y que de la de tooth fairy pierdes un diente lo pones bajo la almohada y por la mm -hmm. mañana encuentras cinco pesos o un beso o okay. whatever oh. ahora son cinco dólares ahora son cinco cuando yo crecí era una, una, una peseta y, Ay, no. e, e, ¿Y e iba en coche <laughs> no. ¿Y qué decían la gente? Que era una... And they used to say that it was... How do you say fairy in Spanish? Una hada fairy. madrina. Una hada madrina. Una hada. Una hada uh -huh. que venía y te, 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 sacaba, te, te tomaba uh -huh. el, el dientecito y te ponía la pesetita. Eso no es verdad. Es un mito. And that's not true. That's right? a myth. Mm -hmm. Pero es, es un cosa de niño. It's not, well, not going to hurt anybody. It's good stuff y no le va a hacer daño a nadie. But there are myths when it comes to... The Bible. Pero había mitos con referencia a la Biblia. That you have to be careful. Que tienes que tener cuidado. Because you cannot believe them; they will hurt you. Porque no puedes creerlos; te van a hacer daño. I'm going to identify that in a minute. I have Pablo. Could you see me, Paul? You had your hand before. Oh, los reyes magos también, of course. The three kings in Puerto Rico, yeah. So you. You found your father was one of the three kings, right? Yeah. And you feel devastated. Oh, my God, there goes my world. But you're growing up. It's okay. Pero ya vas creciendo y está bien. But there are myths Pero hay mitos that you need to be careful con los cuales tienes que tener cuidado. because there are things that are taught to people Porque hay cosas que se le enseñan a las personas that are not true. Que no son ciertas. And people think they're in the Bible. Y las personas piensan que están en la Biblia. Okay, a lot of that. Oh, y mucho my God, de esto. so many hay tanto de ello. And, and what was that? Diga. Oh, purgatory definitely is a myth. There's no doubt about that. Y el purgatorio definitivamente es un mito. No hay duda de esto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
catechism they tell you about that? Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Limbo is another one. If and I was taught as a, as a Catholic boy, for example, a mí se me como un católico, por ejemplo, that if you want to find a, a girlfriend, take a statue of Saint Joseph. Que si tú una novia, que una estatua, una estatua de San José, and bury him upside down in your yard. Y que lo boca abajo en la, en la parte de la I casa. never did it. Nunca lo hice. I don't want a wife that way. Yo no una esposa de esa manera. <laughs> she comes from an upside down saint? No, si thank you. Son tonteras, son locuras, son cosas like. This is foolish. This is something that doesn't have no meaning. Cupid's arrow, that, you know, that, all that stuff is myth. Y todo esto son But mitos. when people tell you things as if they're biblically based, Ahora, pero cuando las personas te dicen cosas que son bíblicamente basadas and you believe it y tú lo crees, your faith will be based on lies tu, tu fe va a estar basada en mentiras you can't let that happen y no puedes dejar que eso pase Peter says what we teach you is not that y Pedro dice lo que te estamos enseñando no es ¿Mamá? eso oh, las yeah. prácticas of course, también conllevan a las personas a brujerías sure Haciendo promesa a la, a, a la Virgen, or making promises to the Virgin, or promising to wear white, white, a white robe for three usa, days, all these stories Todas that estas historias que se dicen. you know, please, Peter says that's not what we present to you in Christ. Pedro dice que eso no es lo que ellos presentan en we Cristo. don't follow those things. No seguimos estas cosas. In fact, look at the attitude that the Bible has es como un factor mira la actitud que tiene la Biblia when it comes to make believe stories cuando vienen a historias inventadas o fábulas that try to be presented as if they were based on scripture que se tratan de, de ser presentadas como si estuviesen basadas en las escrituras he, well, Paul tells Timothy command them not to devote themselves to myths ordenales que no presten atención a estos mitos yeah the word is clear don't even Don't, don't believe the lies no creas esas mentiras que escuchas. And there's a lot of them. We're going to point some out. Y muchas de ellas las vamos a señalar. That's what Paul tells Timothy. Y eso es lo que Pablo dice a Timoteo. Look at this one. Miren esta. Here. Reject profane and old wives' fables. Desecha las fábulas profanas y viejas. Okay. I'm sorry about las viejas, pero ahí vamos. Ahí dice <laughs> que hay fábulas profanas y viejas. There's fables that old women tell each other. Cuentos de hadas, de los días de antes. Don't devote yourself, reject those things. Rechacen estas cosas, no, no dediquen tiempo a esto. Like for example, I was, I, I remember being taught. Yo recuerdo haber, haber sido enseñado. That when a baby is born, if it's a boy, you don't cut his hair for one year. Que cuando un niño nace, no le cortas el pelo por un año. Because if you cut his hair, it's bad luck. Y que Porque si le cortas el pelo, es mala suerte. I know people in Christ. Sé de personas en Cristo. That still don't cut their child's hair for a year. Que no le cortan el pelo a sus niños por un año. They won't. There was one couple that I, I, I was noticing. Había una pareja que me estaba dando cuenta. hair is getting pretty long, right? It's like, que, que el pelito del niño estaba bastante largo. When are you going to cut? Oh, we haven't got a chance to do it. I'm like, mm-hmm. ¿Cuándo se lo va a cortar? Oh, todavía no se lo va a cortar. Cut his hair. Está guindando ya. No, he looks fine. He's oh, ese es bien. Cut his hair. And I knew it. I knew it. Y yo sabía, sabía. They were scared to cut it. Because they feared he might even die if he cut the hair. Porque pensaban que se iba a morir. The power of fables. El poder de las fábulas. And you know, when he, when he turned one year old, cuando él cumplió un año, the very next day his hair was cut. Al próximo día su pelito estaba cortado. And cortando. I said, what happened here? Oh, we found the time. Y you know, dije, ¿qué pasó aquí? Ya encontramos tiempo. I told him, don't lie to me. You were afraid. Si no me mientas, tenías temor. You were under the, the power of a lie, of a spell, of superstition. Estabas bajo el poder de la superstición. The Bible says don't do that. La Biblia dice que no hagas esto. The gospel is not superstition. El, el, el evangelio no es supersticioso. Look at this. Paul tells Titus, rebuke anybody who pays attention to even Jewish myths. Pablo le dice a Tito, reprende a que no atiendan a fábulas judaicas. There are Jewish myths. Hay, hay mitos judaicos. Not everything Jewish is biblical. No todo lo judío Hello? es bíblico. It's not. No lo es. I have a video at home. I, 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 was gonna, I, I have to record it and, and subtitle it for you. Tengo un video en la casa que tengo que hacer algunas editarlo y traerlo aquí. But this Jewish professor, a doctor of theology and whatever. You know, Pero really este profesor man. judío, un doctor en teología y todo. You should hear what he said. Deberían right. de escuchar lo que él dice. He says that when God spoke from Mount Sinai. Dice que cuando Dios habló de Monte Sinaí. That to all Israel, because he did. A todo Israel, porque Dios lo hizo a todo Israel. That when Israel heard God's voice. Que cuando Israel escuchó la voz de Dios. They all dropped dead. Todos ellos cayeron muertos. 
He's teaching it with a serious face. Y él está and con una cara bien the seria. whole nation dropped dead. Y que toda la cayó and muerta. then God resurrected them. Y luego Dios los and he spoke again. Y habló and they dropped dead again. Y ellos cayeron muertos otra vez. Where do you get this from? ¿De dónde tú recibes esto? It's a Jewish myth. Es un mito judaico. And rabbis, some of them are very honest and sincere men. They really are. Y algunos rabíes son hombres honestos y sinceros. Some, some of them son. come up with stories you can't believe. Por algunos de ellos con historias que tú no puedes creerlas. Paul tells you there are myths that the Jewish people have. You you must not pay attention to. Pablo te dice que hay mitos que los mitos judaicos que que no debes de prestar atención a ellos. So this is very clear. The scripture the scripture is very upset about people who follow myths. Así que esto es bien claro. La escritura está bien en desacuerdo con las personas que siguen estos mitos. Okay, go back to Peter. Volviendo para atrás a Pedro. This is not what I've given you, he says. I don't give you myths. Esto no es lo que le he dado. Yo no le doy a ustedes mitos. What we're teaching you is not some crazy story make believe. Lo que estamos enseñando no es una historia loca o inventada. We were eyewitnesses. Nosotros fuimos testigos con nuestros propios ojos. And today I want to begin. I want to emphasize something we're going to find in Revelation chapter one. Y hoy quiero enfatizar con algo que vamos a encontrar en Revelaciones capítulo uno. Which is the foundation of the entire purpose of the of the writer. Lo cual es la fundación o fundamento del propósito en sí del escritor. John didn't go to Patmos and have a have a dream. Juan no fue a Patmos y tuvo un sueño. And he wrote the dream and, and that's revelation. That's not true. Y él escribió el sueño y esto es revelación. Eso no es cierto. Everything John writes. Todo lo que Juan escribe. John saw. Juan lo vio. What's the difference between a dream and a vision? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre un sueño y una visión? One you're sleeping, one you're awake, right? En uno estás dormido y en uno estás despierto. If you have a dream, you're knocked out. You're sleeping. Si te viste un sueño estás chocado. A vision is when you are wide awake and something appears before your eyes. Una visión es cuando estás completamente despierto y algo aparece frente a tus ojos. You literally see it. Y literalmente lo estás viendo. And John says, I'm what he wrote down. He saw everything. Y Juan dice que cuando él, él escribió todo lo que él vio. As scary as those visions that he had are, because they're, they're pretty, pretty frightening. Tan tenebroso como esas visiones que él tuvo. You know, dragons and dragones and all these monsters with scorpion tails con con and, and blood coming up to the to the bridles of the horses. I mean, a, he a saw this. Él vio esto. And not only John, but Peter. Peter says we were eyewitnesses. Y no solo Juan, pero que Pedro también dice nosotros fuimos testigos. So the Bible you have in your hands, así que la Biblia que tiene en sus manos, the one that teaches salvation, la que enseña salvación, and helps us to grow, nos ayuda a crecer. It's not a fable. No es una fábula. All those stories about Christ really happened. Todas esas historias acerca de Cristo verdaderamente pasaron. That's what Peter said, that's what John said. Eso es lo que dice Pedro, lo que dice Juan. We're going to see today the apostles made a point of emphasizing that. Y vemos, vamos a ver hoy que los apóstoles hicieron el el esfuerzo de enfatizar en esto. The word eyewitness is this word here. La palabra testigos o que sus ojos vieron es esta palabra aquí. And again, good old Greek, it's the usual two into one, right? That first part of the word means on. Anybody want to guess what this word means? We get optical from this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Optical, so it means gaze with wide open eyes. Optis, eyes, your eyes are looking. So what Peter is saying Así que lo que Pedro está diciendo, eh? We looked at his majesty profoundly personally. Miramos su majestad profundamente y personalmente. We were there. Estuvimos ahí. So when the apostles preached, Así que cuando los apóstoles predican, they were sharing what they lived. Ellos estaban compartiendo lo que aprendieron. And that is how the gospel is supposed to be preached. Y es así como el evangelio tiene que ser predicado. It's not just telling somebody, okay, A, B, C, do it. No solo decir A, B, C y hazlo. I did this. Sino yo hice esto. I experienced salvation. Yo experimenté salvación. This is how it comes. Y es así como es. I'm a witness that it works. Yo soy un testigo de que trabaja. They were witnesses. Ellos fueron testigos. Of the stories we read. De las historias que nosotros leemos. Does anyone know what story he's talking about here? Sabe alguien de la historia que Pedro está hablando aquí? What did he see? I witnessed. When he says that he they saw his majesty. Yeah. Yep. When did this happen? It happened there. And, and as Morris called it, right? What is this called again? 
This is called the transfiguration. There's an N between the A and the S. That's a misprint. Transfiguration. And that word means to be changed into another form. It shows up in three of the four Gospels. Here you have three apostles that were there seeing this marvel happened in front of their eyes. What three apostles are these? ¿Cuáles son estos tres apóstoles? Peter, James, Pedro, and John. Juan, Those are the three. Estos tres. That's why Peter says we, Por eso que Pedro dice, nosotros, referring to himself, James, and John, there's John over here, tres, right? we were eyewitnesses. Who's here in this cloud of glory? Jesus in the middle as he always is and on both sides of Jesus Moses and Elijah exactly and that was that's enough to make make them like go into shock I mean they were literally overwhelmed in Luke it says that they didn't even when Peter spoke up and he said Lord it's good for us to be here let us make three cabins one for you one for Moses one for Elijah actually those, those casas de campaña let's live here and Luke says he didn't know what he was saying he was like oh I'm glad I'm here let's make you something he was completely overwhelmed I mean wouldn't you be there's a cloud Jesus began to shine with this light these two figures and they recognized them what does that tell you? I mean they didn't show up with saying hi I'm Moses I mean, you know, how did they know they were looking at Moses and Elijah? they just knew that's how it is in heaven you will know you're going to see your mom, your grandma, your uncle, your whoever it is, they're going to look totally different. But you're going to know who they are. Paul says, on that day we shall know as we are known. We're going to have perfect knowledge. So they knew who these guys were. But when he said that, something even more powerful happened. What was that? ¿Qué fue eso? What more can you get, right? There was something more. Yeah. ¿Qué más? Yeah. It says a cloud came sí. over the entire scenario, a bright cloud. Dice que el fue con una nube and a voice spoke. Y una voz habló. And this is what it said. Look, a voice came from the excellent, I love that, the excellent glory. Dice aquí que la voz vino de la magnífica gloria. La magnífica gloria, the, the excellent glory, is that cloud that descended over them. Y esa magnificencia de gloria que estuvo sobre ellos. God manifests himself through means of clouds, in case you haven't. Dios se manifestó en ellos a través de la nube. Back in Israel, is remember the cloud covered the mountain where Moses was? Remember? And there was clouds constantly over Israel. I mean, God manifests Himself in clouds. When they dedicated the temple, a cloud entered the temple. A light cloud, shining bright. And what happened here was the cloud came down, and from that cloud. ¿Y qué pasó aquí cuando ellos descendieron de esa nube? From the, from the excellent glory. The cloud is the excellent glory. Y de esa gloria excelente. La, voz, la, la gloria excelente es la nube. La nube es la gloria excelente. Mm -hmm. God spoke. Dios habló. And what did he say? ¿Y qué dijo? Oh, come on. Anybody? Okay. That's right. This is my beloved son. Talking about Jesus. This is my beloved este es son. Mi hijo amado, hablando acerca de Jesús. In whom I am well pleased. En quien tomo complacencia. Peter says, I was there. I'm an eyewitness. I saw this. I heard this. I'm not telling you a myth. This is a fact of my life. And by the way, where did that happen? All right, come on. If it really happened, it had to happen, happen somewhere. So where did it happen? All we know is from Scripture, it happened on a high mountain. It literally says in all three gospels it says there was a high mountain. Over church history, 
a través de la historia de la iglesia that mountain was identified. esa montaña fue identificada Here it is. y aquí está Mount Tabor Mount Tabor en Monte Tabor en español Mount Tabor mm -hmm. high enough for you bastantemente suficiente por usted I think it's pretty high right creo que es bastante alto Jesus and the three apostles went up that mountain Jesús y los tres apóstoles subieron a lo alto de esta montaña around here is where it happened y alrededor de este lado fue donde pasó and because the people then Peter knew where it happened for them he said he was there y Pedro sabía que pasó porque estuvo ahí knew, James knew Juan sabía Santiago they sabía they told people afterwards ellos le dijeron a demás personas so it's up here así que en esta parte and there it is now y ahí está ahora they built a church building over the spot where this manifestation donde hubo esta manifestación you could go there actually and stand inside that, that sanctuary usted puede ir a este tipo de santuario I did that and I'm telling you friends it's just uh, it's wonderful it's just yo hice pretty, eso pretty. y es maravilloso when you go to a place in, in the holy land and you, and you know what happened there cuando usted va a un lugar de la tierra no? santa y sabe lo que pasó ahí and that it wasn't a myth it, y que no it era was an mito. actual historic event era un, un evento histórico. That's why some people spend a thousand, two thousand dollars to go to Israel. Por eso que gasta They do. Miles miles para ir a Because I'm telling you, you don't have to go. Usted no tiene que ir. It, won't, it won't get you to heaven any quicker, I promise you. No te va a a más rápido, te lo But it's just a wonderful, wonderful Pero es tan experience. Una experiencia tan maravillosa. Our faith is based on fact. Nuestra fe se basa en factores. This is a real place. You can stand. Este es un lugar look how high up that thing is. Esto es un lugar verdadero. Can you see tipo, back over here? I mean, look, look back mire, here. Look how. That's the es. valley. I mean, dear Lord. Este es el valle, mire. You, you can know for certain. Usted puede saber de cierto. Jesus walked here. Jesús caminó aquí. Peter's house is there. La casa de Pedro está Mary ahí. Magdalene's hometown is still there. La ciudad de María Magdalena todavía Nazareth está ahí. Nazareth is still there. Nazareth todavía está ahí. In fact, it was great when I went to when I went to Nazareth. Cuando yo fui a Nazareth. I saw a verse that said Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life in his hometown. It's like wow, it's cool. Donde dice Jesús dijo yo soy el camino la verdad y la vida. They have they have the only well of the in the whole city of Nazareth. It's still there. Tienen ese pozo de agua todavía está ahí. It's thousands of years old. Es miles de años de viejo. So guess what they call it? ¿Y sabes cómo lo llaman? The virgin's well, Mary's well. El, el pozo de la Virgen. Because she did, she drank from there. Porque ella bebió de ahí. So did Jesus, so did Joseph. You know Jesús, these are real places. Y saben que estos son lugares ciertos. We're ciertos. not following lies, friends. No, no somos mentiras. And I know it costs a lot of money and it's dangerous and all that other. I know it is. I know. Y sé que es peligroso, sí que lo es. When I was there, I had a little scare. I mean, you know, it happens. Ahí, tenía un poquito de temor, sí. We were stopped on the bus because some people were causing trouble. I mean, it happens. Se nos paró la guagua porque. Eh, But I'm telling, telling you, if you would just take a chance one day, knowing all you know now, it, it won't make you more holy, but it will give you a better picture of the Bible, I promise you that. When I open the Bible and I read, I transport, I was there. I see the place. I, I, I was in a boat on the Sea of Galilee. Yo estuve en un bote en el mar de Galilea. So whenever I read about the storm on Galilee, whatever, la, la, I see the, I see the lake. Eh, me imagino el lago. In my mind, I was there. Yo estuve ahí. So the Bible becomes three-dimensional. Así que la Biblia se hace en tres dimensiones. And I sound like I'm, like I'm promoting a trip, right? Te parece que estoy dando promoción a un viaje. No one's hired me. I'm not working for anybody, I promise. This nadie is just... Me, nadie me ha dado trabajo para hacer esto. I wish you could go. I wish we could go. I wish we could do it. Pudiésemos ir, pudiésemos I know it's viaje. expensive, but if you guys sé could... Sé que es costoso. Take time from Puerto Rico and Santo Domingo for once and just save money for a little bit and si leave San Juan, leave, you van. know, Mayagüe, leave Ponce, leave wherever for at least one time in your life and save your money go somewhere else this is worth it Deje el ahorre el dinero a donde usted usualmente va a vacaciones y ahorre para poder ir a un viaje como este que valdría la pena Let me know I'm, We need 15 people so let me know I'll, I'll take you Necesitamos 15 personas me dejan saber Take your money let me know you can afford it we'll go I'll take you there myself Yo les llevo ahí yo mismo I will we'll have we'll have communion at the place where Jesus rose from the dead if you want tenemos comunión donde Jesús es todo entre los muertos. I'll do it. I'll serve communion to you right there. Oh, there's the tomb, by the way. Here. Hey, He's not there. Tomo. He's alive. Here. Toma. Your life will never be the same, I promise you. Su vida nunca jamás será la misma. Eso Because we don't follow myths. Porque no seguimos mitos. It's real. Es real. Yes, Paul. Sí, todavía. You can still drink water from the virgin's well. 
Todavía puede beber Imagine. agua del pozo de la Virgen. People are still getting baptized in the River Jordan. They still go. Pero las personas todavía se bautizan en el río Jordán. They have un bautisterio, a baptistry in the River Jordan. You can actually go Tienen in and get baptized. Tienen un bautisterio ahí, puede ir y ser bautizado. Yeah, you can. Just go in and we're both. It's just, I mean, it's not going to make you more holy. Please hear me, it's not. No le va a ser más santo, créame que But no. it just opens the Bible to you because, you know, it shows you that we follow fact. Pero le, le, le da un, una vista diferente a la Biblia porque enseña que seguimos algo real. Not fiction. No algo que es ficción. And when you go to stand in the Armageddon, you stand in the Valley of Megiddo, like I did. Cuando va al Armageddon y se para en este I valle. I stood in Megiddo, I stood there. Yo me paré ahí en I este valle. I looked up and I said one day. Yo me arribé y dije un día. That sky is going to split in half. Ese cielo se va a abrir en mitad. And the Lord will descend. Y el Señor va a descender. It's just people, really. Really, it's amazing. Y es algo sorprendente. The funniest thing happened when we were on the bus. Y es algo que pasó cuando estábamos en la guagua. You know, these bus drivers, they... For them, it's no big deal. They're like, yeah, we live here. It's like us. We live in, you know, New York City, in Empire State Building. Eh? Whatever, right? So, <laughs> so the bus driver is driving, and we're going we're going by the roads. And he says, oh, by the way, look, if you look to your right, you'll see hell. hell. Oh, Gehenna, the Valley of Gehenna, yes. And I looked, and sure enough, the valley's there. So, I, I drove by hell. <laughs> the real hell, not this make-believe fantasy stuff, right? Like these books that people have these days. I went to the Divine Revelation of Hell. Don't waste your money. Please don't waste your money. Divine Revelation of Heaven, Divine Revelation of whatever. Stop it. Those are myths. They're telling you stories that, that demons hang people in cages and are poking them with fire and all that. Stop it. We're not supposed to follow myths. We follow truth. But notice, Peter says something else here. He says, we have the word of the prophets. Read this for me. What does it say? Made more, made más, more certain than what? Más seguras que qué? The word of the prophets is more certain than what? Las palabras de los profetas son más seguras que qué? Keep the verse that we just finished reading in mind. Mantenga el versículo yeah, como right. elemento. Yeah, literally, Literalmente, the Bible is more certain and better than even hearing the voice of God himself. Peter says, I heard the voice. Pablo y, y Pedro dicen, I was there, I saw the Estuvimos glory. Ahí, vimos su gloria. But then he says, but we have a word that's even better. Dice, Pero tenemos una palabra que es aún mucho What mejor. you have in your hand is better than a voice talking to you. Lo que tiene en sus manos es mucho mejor que una voz hablándole. That from somebody who heard a voice. Y esto viene de la boca de alguien que oyó la voz. The Bible is our complete and total assurance. La Biblia es nuestra seguridad completa. More certain than the voice from the glory. Más segura que la voz de, de la gloria. Because the entire Bible. Porque la Biblia por entero. Is based on eyewitness testimony. Está basada en, en testimonios oculares. Moses wrote what he experienced. Moisés escribió lo que él tuvo la experiencia. So did Paul. Así lo hizo Pablo. So did the apostles. Así lo hicieron los apóstoles. This book you have was written by people who lived it. Este libro fue escrito por personas que lo vivieron. And you must take that Bible seriously. Y debe de tomar esta Biblia seriamente. Because of the eyewitness factor. Por el factor de los testigos oculares. That's why this is not mythology. Es por esto que esto no es mitología. This is history. This is real. Esto es real. That's why we, I showed you the shroud last week, remember? El mantle I showed you last week. Some of you told me you want, you want to have that class on the shroud. I can give it to you. I would love to give you a class on the shroud. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. A living witness of the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you're interested in having a people, I'll give it. No problem. You tell me later, I'm going to bring you videos, slides, pictures, and I'll fill you in. On a living witness to the death and resurrection of the Lord. But the apostles are telling us that the Bible is true because they testify, they witness. 
que la Biblia es verdadera porque ellos son ellos testifican ellos fueron testigos John 21 24 John says this Juan 21 24 ellos dicen esto he is the disciple who does what él es el discípulo que hace qué testifies que da testimonio so he says everything I just wrote I was there así que todo lo que escribí yo estaba ahí the Bible emphasizes this fact over and over and over again. Enfatiza este factor una y otra vez. So your faith and mine can be based on fact, not on myths. And the book of Acts, the apostles say this en el libro de los hechos, el apóstol dice esto. to the Jewish people there in Jerusalem. Al pueblo judío ahí en Jerusalem. You killed the author of life. Ustedes mataron al autor de vida. But God raised him from the dead. Pero Dios lo resucitó de entre los muertos. We are what? Somos qué? There it is again. We are witnesses. Somos testigos. Did anybody see last week's episode of the, um, the, the what's it called again, that, that show? AD. Did we saw last week? El, el episodio que vieron la semana pasada? If you no lo han visto, it's nice, it's good. Part one was better than part two. If you haven't seen it, it's bueno, it's bien. Y la parte uno fue mejor que la parte dos. It was. Part two sí, was a little, eh. La parte dos fue un poquito ahí más. But floja. tonight, part three. Pero esta noche, la parte tres, it's called the Spirit comes. Se llama el Espíritu viene. And that's when the Holy Spirit comes and fills the apostles with power. So again, I'm not getting any money from Channel 4 or whatever channel it is. Okay. <laughs> but I, I urge you, take a look at it tonight. Pero eso Watch it. Noche, channel vean. 4, I think it's 704. Yeah, Channel 704, if I'm not mistaken. NBC? NBC or is it? It's 4, right? Yeah, channel channel 4. 4. Tonight, watch it, and you'll see the apostles bearing witness. We saw him. We are his witnesses, the Bible says. Now, back to our question number two. Remember that? You know, I, I like to compare what we do with taking a sponge. Me gusta comparar lo que hacemos como tomando una esponja. And we squeeze everything out of the question, man. We take, every bit, we take everything out of that word. I y promise you. Todo completo de esa palabra. Who remembers how in Revelation chapter 1, how John describes himself? ¿Quién se recuerda como en Revelaciones capítulo 1? First thing he said sí was mismo? that he is a doulos. Dice que es un doulos. John, the writer of Revelation, says, I am a doulos. Juan, el escritor de Revelación, dice, yo soy un doulos. And what is doulos again? ¿Y qué es esto otra vez? A slave. Someone given to somebody else's will. Okay? But John also says he's also a something else. Yeah. He calls himself this. A martis. Martis. A martis is who? Somebody who? That's all. One who gives a martureo, a full and trustworthy report. Remember, a, mar a martyr, where, where this word come, where this word is the root of. Esta palabra que, que viene de la palabra de la raíz de martyr. Yeah, martyr is not necessarily somebody who has to die for Christ. Un martyr no es alguien que necesariamente tiene que morir por Cristo. You just are a person that bears witness. No es alguien que es testigo. You are indeed someone who tells others about your experience with Jesus Christ. Usted es alguien que comparte sus experiencias con otra persona acerca de Jesucristo. Yep. What was that, Mark? right absolutely that was the apostles and how about you when you share Christ with someone that's how you do it too this is what Jesus did for me I've experienced him I know him look at all these verses here the point of today's class is to emphasize the importance of being a witness la importan lo importante de la clase de hoy es enfatizar en la importancia de ser un testigo. Y todo lo que vamos a ver en revelaciones son de testigos que lo vieron todo. But check out how God does things. Pero miren cómo Dios hace las cosas. Sorry, take a look at the verses there. I saw the faces like. <laughs> Here we go. This is the, the procedure God always uses. Y este es el procedimiento que Dios siempre usa. To this very day. Hasta este día. Ready, friends? Listos, hermanos. I see some yes, some no's. Write those verses and get download box. We'll have it all available to you. Free of charge, all yours. I'm moving on. Five, four, three, two, one, gone. All right, good. In the book of Acts, we read this. How many praise God for this? God raised up Jesus on the third day. Amen, church. How do we know that? Well, he showed him openly. 
e hizo manifestarse abiertamente. To who? ¿A quién? Not to all the people. No a todo el pueblo. But to witnesses. Sino solo los testigos. See, if it was you or me making up a story, ¿Tú ves, si fuésemos tú o yo haciendo una historia? How many would do what I would do? ¿Cuántos harían lo que yo haría? I would have Jesus appearing to Pontius Pilate. Yo tendría a Jesús apareciéndose a Pontius Pilato. Hi, I'm here. Dice, okay, aquí you estoy. couldn't kill me. See the holes? You couldn't no me kill mataste, me. Ves, estoy aquí. I would have him going to the Sanhedrin saying, you guys did that, you were mistaken. Lo tendría yendo a este lugar y decir, ustedes dicen, I am the Messiah, you want proof? And have them all falling on their faces and oh, we repent. I would do that. Yo hubiese hecho esto. God didn't. Pero Dios no lo hizo. He didn't do it that way. Él no lo hizo de esta manera. He did it this way. Él lo hizo así. He showed Jesus alive to who? Él le mostró que Jesús estaba vivo a quién? The apostles, a los his apóstoles, mother. A su madre. Who else? A quién más? What does Paul say? How many people saw Jesus alive? ¿Qué dice Pablo? ¿Cuántas personas vieron a Jesús vivo? And after the resurrection, how many? Después de la resurrección, ¿cuántos? Anybody? 500. The Apostle Paul, 1 Corinthians 15. He says up to 500 brethren at one time saw him. Dice 500 hermanos en una ocasión le vieron. And Paul says that many of them were still alive in Paul's day. Y Pablo dice que muchos de ellos estaban vivos en su día. So Jesus didn't appear to everybody. He appeared to witnesses. Así que Jesús no se le apareció a todo el pueblo, sino solamente a los testigos. People who did what? Look at this. Personas que hicieron qué? They just didn't see him. Ellos no solo que le vieron. They ate and they drank with him. Sino que comieron y bebieron they con él. They know he was living. Sabían que estaba vivo. It wasn't a hallucination. Que no era una alucinación. Again, the point of all this is your faith is based on truth. El punto de todo esto es que su fe está basada en verdad. Y la semana pasada Jesús pidió un pescado y comió. Oh and he ate and he drank and wow, it's real. Y bebió. So these, they were not having a mass delusion as some people say today. Así que ellos no tenían una alucinación masiva como muchas personas dicen. They really dicen truly día. saw the risen Savior. Ellos verdaderamente vieron al, al Salvador And it resistó. says, and God commanded us to preach to the people. Who's supposed to Dice preach to the Dios people? Dice que Dios demanda que nosotros prediquemos. The witnesses. Pueblo, los testigos. So God raises Jesus. The witnesses see him. Así que Dios levanta a Jesús en frente de los testigos que le vieron. And they're supposed to go preach. Y ellos están supuestos a predicar. And there it is, and y testify. Y testifican. This is how you win people to Christ. Y es así como se ganan a las personas para Cristo. You preach the gospel. Usted predica el evangelio. And you testify what you know. Y usted testifica de lo que usted sabe. What did God do for you? ¿Qué hizo Dios por ti? That's what they did. Y eso es lo que ellos hicieron. And that's the word to testify. Y esa es la palabra para testificar. That's he is the one who was ordained by God and so forth. There you have God's method. Él es el que, que es ordenado por Dios y ellos tienen los métodos de Dios. Our time's almost up here. Let me put it for you in a better, in a more clear fashion. Déjenme ponérselo en una forma más clara. Sorry, I know you're writing stuff down, but get it off box. All it'll all be there for you. Here you go. God raises Christ. What's the next step? Dios levantó a Cristo. Bueno. I just gave it to you. Next step. He shows Christ to witnesses. Muestra a Cristo a los testigos. Next step. Witnesses preach and testify. Los testigos predican y testifican. And now, final step. Y el paso final. Their message reaches us to this very day. El mensaje nos llega a nosotros hasta hoy día. You heard the gospel. I don't Usted know when. Usted escuchó el evangelio no sé cuándo. But there is a chain linking you to the original witnesses of the apostles. Pero hay una cadena, un eslabón que le une a usted a los testigos Whoever talked to you, apóstoles. someone talked to them. El que le habló a usted, alguien le habló a ellos. And someone talked to them. Y alguien le habló and you can go back 2,000 years. Y puede seguir para atrás dos mil años. You're here today. Usted está aquí hoy. Because you are part of that line of witnesses. Porque usted es parte de eso. Usted es un eslabón de esa línea de testigos. Your faith is based on that. Y su fe está basada en esto. The apostle Paul did the same thing. Our time's almost ended. Here. Let me show it to you. Lo mismo. Watch this in 2 Timothy. Miren esto en de Timoteo. Paul says this. Pablo dice esto. There's the verse. Ahí están los versículos. Read it with me in English. It says the things. Dale en inglés. Uh huh. Among many, commit these two, who will be able to. En español lo que tú has oído de mí. Testigos. Esto encarga a que sean para. I put it on a chart for you. Here, here it goes. Paul. 
gave everything he had, he taught everything he knew to Timothy. Timothy, Paul tells Timothy, now you take what I taught you. Give it to faithful men. And then tell them to do the same, to tell others. This is how we really learn how to grow in Christ. What I teach you here, go tell somebody about it. Share with people from other churches. Not so they can come over here, but so they can be blessed. They can share over there. And then they can tell other people. We don't keep good information to ourselves. Spread it. Share it. Give them the link to box. Let them download this information. Spread it at all the churches. I don't care. This isn't this, I'm not selling this. This is for free. Give it out. All your friends from other churches. Here, read this. Take this. Let them be edified. And hopefully they can do the same in their churches. Why not? The word is meant to be shared like this. If they come here, great, but they don't have to. God can use them over there. Are you with me out here, church? That's how we do it. By the way, when you do that, you learn better yourself. Teaching, you learn better. Share it, friends. Share it. And we're wrapping up. What, what is Hebrews 12? You guys must recognize that. Come on. Being surrounded by the cloud of witnesses. There we go again. See, everything in the Bible is based on witnesses, everything. Then Peter says, I was a witness of the sufferings of Christ. That's interesting. That means Peter, even though Peter wasn't at the cross, he saw from a distance. He was hiding, but he was able to see things from a distance. A witness of Christ's pain and sorrow. And over here in John, as we finish today, the same writer of Revelation says this, that they, he saw the word of life. Who's the word of life? This is Jesus himself. All right? It says we have heard him. Imagine the privilege John had and the apostles with him. They heard Christ in person. But it wasn't just hearing him. Seen him with our eyes. We've looked upon him. They stared at him. They contemplated him. Can you imagine that privilege? He's right there. This tells us that John and the apostles, when Jesus was alive with them, they would literally stare. They were constantly, they were, wow, this is the Son of God. This is the Messiah. This is, and they would, they would look at, they knew exactly what he looked like. That's why Judas could betray him. Even though it was dark. He knew Jesus. He had seen him. He went right up to him in the dark and knew exactly where he was. That's why they needed him because he was an apostle. He had seen the Lord. Yes, I had a hand over there somewhere. Yes. Yes, we stop. Yes. See, ya había subido, ya bajado otra vez. Yeah. Jesús aparecía y desaparecía por unos 40 días. He's asking, did, the, did Jesus go to heaven before appearing to the disciples? Yes, he did. He did. María Magdalena, when Mary went to touch him, no me toque, yeah. I haven't gone up to the Father yet. Después de eso, el Señor Padre bajó otra vez y estuvo mm -hmm. con los apóstoles. Amen. Mm -hmm. He did. Se fue con Cristo, se fue con Dios. So, el, el de la C, el de la C, Enoch. Háblame de eso después, que estamos en Apocalipsis metidos. No creo que en Génesis, porque si no, nunca, nunca salimos de aquí. <laughs> Pero fue Enoch, Enoch que se fue con Dios, de la línea de Seth, no, no, no de Caín. Es, es, 
Es una malísimo todo ello. Ya. So it was Enoch. Anyway, over here. So they saw Jesus, looked at him, and look at this. They touched him. They could actually feel him. They could. I mean, come on. These are the witnesses. We have seen and bear witness. And what? See, because we see and we have a witness, we declare it. So as we finish today's class, the servant of God, John, the writer of the revelation is not giving us some fancy parable or story. Revelation is history. Revelation is real. He bears witness of God's word, of Jesus' testimony. Jesus is speaking in Revelation. He's the one talking in this book. God is giving a revelation of Jesus Christ in this book. And he shows John everything. And we are going to be looking at everything. No matter how long it takes us. You're going to be, when this class is over, whenever it is over. I mean, it'll be over in May, but I'm saying when this course is over. Could be whenever. I'm not going to rush this at all. But you and I are going to go on a journey of everything John saw. And you can say to yourself, this isn't like a myth of Hercules and Zeus. This is real. He's living. One day I'm going to see the same risen Lord that they saw. One day, in fact, I'll close with this. What did Jesus say to all of us? That if you're faithful to him, if you do the work he gives you to do, and you're watching for his arrival, what promise does he make? This one always blows my mind because I can't even imagine this. I can't. But I'm, so, I'm, I'm overwhelmed thinking about it. Estoy sobrecogido says, blessed, are those, blessed are those servants dice, who when the Lord comes finds them doing their work. Finish it for me, somebody. No, no. Oh, man, people, learn this, take it with you. Come on, come on. He says, I promise you that I will and this, I'm telling you, it's beyond belief. Y esto es más, más allá de lo, de lo increíble. I will serve you at the table. Que yo voy a servirle a ustedes a la mesa. I, I imagine. Imagínese. The Lord comes. We're sitting at the table. El Señor viene y estamos sentados a la mesa. At the marriage supper of the Lamb. En, en la mesa del cordero. And, and Jesus Himself is going to serve. Y Jesús mismo va a servir. You. Usted, me, all of yo, us, todos nosotros, you're going to see him in front of you. He's going to say, here, well done. Here, I'm going to feed you now. Bien, here, bien you deserve this. this. And you're there looking at him as close as I am here to George. Here you are. You can reach out and touch him. He'll be right there. That's your future. If you stand firm. Stand firm, friends. Amen? Any questions, my friends? Are we good? You're going to find it? I'm not going to give it to you. You're going to find it for yourselves. <laughs> John 12, what? Nope, that's not the one. Look for it. We'll pick it up next week. Yes. Yes. You know, the Catholic Church has done its job. They have most of the churches on the... Orthodox and Catholic, they have a... Monopoly on the churches over there. I come on, it's a church building, it's not a monastery. No. But it's great to visit. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, my friends, I love you all. I hope you're enjoying this. Next week we go deeper into Revelation chapter 1. A real book, not a myth. Let's all stand, friends. Thank you so much. Right on time. Yes, Lord. As always. We'll see you guys on Tuesday by the grace of God. I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed today. It is an honor to serve you. Thank you so much for your time. Josh?
Amén. Que el Señor los siga bendiciendo en esta tarde, hermanos. May the Lord continue to bless you guys today. Hermanos que nos visitan en internet también. And those that visit us through the internet. Y vamos a la base de todo lo que el pastor nos predicó en la en la mañana. And if we go to the basic of everything that the pastor preached this morning. Y enseñó hoy en la tarde. And what he taught this afternoon. Es con el propósito de edificar a su pueblo. Is with the purpose of edifying God's body. Y para que el que no conoce a Cristo Jesús como and Señor y Salvador. And for those that don't know Christ as a Savior. Se le da la oportunidad. Se le da la oportunidad. They have the opportunity. Para recibirlo en este día. Hoy es el día, dice el Señor, de salvación. Today is the day of salvation, says the Lord. Amen. Donde quiera que nos visiten en este momento. Y, y como el pastor compartía en la mañana. And as the pastor was sharing this morning. Yo tuve el privilegio de nacer en un hogar cristiano. I had the privilege of being raised in a Christian home. Pero mi crecimiento mayor espiritual. But my major um, growing spiritually. Ha sido aquí en esta iglesia local. Has been here in this church, in this 20, local church. 20 años en esta iglesia. 20 years in this church. Muchas canas que le he dado al pastor. I have many great hairs that I have given the pastor. Pero no ha sido en vano. But it hasn't Muchas been gracias, in vain. Thank Muchas you, gracias, pastor. Muchas gracias, pastor. Así que Thank preparamos you. esta esta ofrenda para para nuestro pastor mientras seguimos este. So we prepare the offering años, now bien, as we continue. Amén. Mientras se sigue preparando para sus años dorados. As he prepares himself for his golden years. Como él siempre lo ha dicho. As he had always said. Nunca se, no piensa retirarse. He doesn't think about retiring. Amén. Y, y yo sé de primera dónde está su corazón. And I know first of all where is his heart. Al servirles a cada uno de nosotros. To serve each one of us. Amen. Así que, hermana. Diana, perdón. Vamos a consagrar estas ofrendas para nuestro pastor en este momento. Okay, let's pray for the offerings. Gracias, Padre Santo, por estas ofrendas, mi Señor. Gracias, mi Jesús, que siempre provees algo, mi Dios, para que podamos dar, mi Señor. Padre mío, de la misma manera, mi Señor, que tú nos bendecidas, mi Dios, con tu palabra y con siervos, mi Dios, que nos haga entender tu palabra mejor, mi Señor Santo. Que también podemos utilizar tus ofrendas para uh, bendecir en lo material también, mi Dios, a nuestro pastor, mi Dios. Gracias, mi Jesús, por esta iglesia, mi Señor. Gracias por tus obras maravillosas. Continúo bendiciendo a cada uno de mis hermanos y mis hermanas. Gracias, Padre Santo. En nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. Pueblo de Dios dice. Amén.